Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus, welcome. It's Warriors of Light, Astro Tarot. I'm David. We're doing your heart spread read, love, romance, and relationship reading. This is for May 2022. So let me talk about the astrology real quick because, you know, everything's in Taurus for you. That's really, you've got Saturn, it could be squaring you in Aquarius 24 degrees. Um, not really seeing that particularly in this reading. Um, that would kind of be the energy of sort of slowing you down, maybe. Uh, but mainly what you got going on is kind of no matter where your sun is in, in Taurus, I mean, something's popping. At 10 degrees, we just had the solar eclipse there. Um, and as a bookend on the 16th, uh, posing you now instead of uh, in and conjuncting your energy in Taurus, you're going to have the lunar eclipse at 25 degrees, um, Scorpio. Um, so you've got from 10 to 25 um, at 14 degrees. And today I think the sun's at 12. So you've got the sun on Uranus at 14, conjuncting there. And you've got the nodes at 22 degrees. And to add to that, you've got Mercury uh, hit its pre-shadow in late degrees of Taurus. And it's in Gemini, but it'll be returning to Taurus. So, you know, um, as an astrologer, you know, you've got a lot popping there. If you don't understand it, you know, consult an astrologer. Because <laughs> really, it's a, a lot, especially with the just with the nodes going through your sign like that. Um, it can be very significant. But let's get to it with this reading. Now, this is your energy in and around love, romance, and relationship here with the four wands. And this is your person's energy here. Um, and we have the Justice card, Major Kana. So I'm going to go and say right now that whoever you're dealing with is a Libra and think Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? Um, and I got to tell you, my feeling about this intuitively, I'm probably going to, uh, you know, knock myself out here uh, with a lot of people because I'm going to say probably this started as an affair. I mean, it happens, okay? Or if not, I mean, one of you was still married, Maybe both of you were married, you know, because, of course, the four ones, actions, it's a building of a long-term committed relationship. And with this being your energy, I could see you being someone that's in a relationship or has been in a relationship. You know, I often read for new relationships. This could also be an, a, a long-standing relationship, guys. You know, I got to keep that in mind. So it could be reflecting that you're, you're in this married relationship. Um, and if, with this being here, um, there's some problems going on. Maybe there's divorce being talked about, that kind of thing. But otherwise, if it's a newer relationship or developing relationship, I'm going to go with the affair. So um, now this is your energy as you're feeling towards them. And with the sun card as an astrologer, do leave me a message I wonder if their uh, son in sinistry is not on your descendant, you know, or otherwise, like, really significantly, like, their son's on your Venus or something like that. Um, but in any case, you're, if this is your reading, you they blow your skirt up, okay? They float your boat. You are way into them. They light you up. When you think about them, when they you see their number on the phone, when you see a text from them, when you see them, you are really happy to about that, you know. Um, and as this is interesting because the way they are uh, feeling about you is coming up as the Six of Swords. And I see the Six of Swords is coming back here, facing back here. I think they're thinking, when they think about you, they're thinking like, I got to get out of this marriage. I just, I really think it's unfair. But if this helps you, I think, and if they're telling you like, I really love you and I need to get out of this, I think they do because this is, you know, moving away and it's always got to keep in mind its thoughts. Um, but, you know, they, I think they want to get out of whatever they're in and frankly, so that they can be with you. Cause I, I do see a relationship here, guys. So this is the advice from spirit for you in this relationship here in terms of how to deal with them. And this is the advice from spirit for them in the relationship and in terms of how to deal with you. And this is the advice for relationship as a whole. And I'm, I'm, it's really, it's, uh, it's all tracking with this sort of being in up there, both being involved, that kind of energy, guys. And I always say that, you know, I don't always trust myself or necessarily anyone else. 
and I never trust the government, but I always trust spirit. So these three cards are very important, and this one particularly is important, because that's the advice for the relationship as a whole. And so with your advice coming under the sun here, um, being the um, Mars energy for a night, it's uh, always Mars, but um, especially when it's a night of wands, uh, is taking action. So I think that with advice, uh, you're being advised to take action. Now, we have to decide what that means. Um, it could just mean maybe you've been saying like, okay, I need to give them time to figure it out. It's on them. And that, that does make sense. I mean, by all the uh, normal um, boundary issues and about relationships and if they're in a relationship. But with Mars there, it's kind of like um, you're being encouraged to go ahead and take some kind of action here. All right. And with their advice coming under this six of swords being the ten of pentacles, interesting advice. Um, I believe that their advice is to put uh, kind of all of their eggs in your basket. If there was any doubts, I'd love for these readings to be shared, by the way, you know, uh, as a way to kind of engender communication. But I see this as like they're thinking like I need to move away because I want to be, you know, with my Taurus. And spirit saying, yes, by all means, they're your wealth, your ten of uh, pinnacles, which is a fantastic card. You know, one of the most underrated cards in the deck, right? Uh, lies with this Taurus and they're being you're being advised and notice it comes next to this ten ten of wands okay um, so and these are the ending of cycles too okay um, so it's like yes in this energy that you're putting into this other relationship whether it's a marriage or not and put put your all everything you have into the relationship with this Taurus here and then with this being the advice for the relationship as a whole, I think this is where you come in. Now, I know this is kind of a little tricky, but I don't think the relationships are always even Steven. And I don't worry so much about uh, things about being, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, unreciprocated or, or, you know, 50-50. And so I think you're being asked to kind of help I don't they, to relieve this burden because that with advice for the relationship as a whole you have to put this down and there's there's an impediment to this relationship moving ahead and i think it's this relationship i mean you know they they could have kids they could have issues of like well if how am i going to support myself or uh, you know uh, practical things and i think you're kind of being asked to help here so again it's like uh, uh, you might say well it's codependent behavior and but I, I don't know this is how it goes sometimes with relationships you know i mean you're coming in here with the four of wands too you know and this is being your advice is the knight of wands and now this advice is definitely that this has to be put down you know and i see them more being the one burden you know but you, you could be too i mean with this kind of soulmate energy and that's there too um it often flip-flops you know so um, a lot of what I'm saying could apply to you too. Um, and this could simply also be you. You need to take action to get out of your situation and let go of your burdens. Because remember, this is for the relationship as a whole. So maybe it's kind of both of you are kind of in a similar situation. Uh, but in either case, it's about like, you know, unburdening yourselves of anything that's in the way of the relationship. You know, there's more to third parties than other people. You know, anything that comes between the union of the two people, I think that's a third party. It could be work, you know, it can be distance. Uh, it could be, you know, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a person. You know, it could be old patterns and, of, you know, that are dragging into the relationship. I don't really see that so much here. I see like people, <laughs> marriages, relationships that are in the way, okay, just to be clear. So... Let me know what you think, you know, as we go along here. I do appreciate if you make a comment. And do subscribe and like and share if you've gotten this far. And um, appreciate it, especially on um, YouTube. I'm going to get close to a 1,000. Then we can do this live, and it'll be a hell of a lot more fun. But with temperance being the outcome, the Sag card, you know, it kind of implies to me there's going to be some time to kind of get this energy flowing of this relationship. But when you get it together going to be a beautiful flowing relationship it's going to feel really good and i think it's kind of blessed honestly so no matter how it started so 
Thank you guys. I appreciate it.